There's a tendency to try to portray anybody who writes something critical of Israel, to say that they are somehow biased, they're anti-Israel, that they're anti-Semitic. Um, and that's just a cheap diversion. In fact, it's a dangerous diversion because anti-Semitism is a very serious problem. hope that I can use what happened to me to address what is clearly a more pervasive problem and ensure that academics who are not as well known as I am are able safely to criticize Israel without the risk of being denied academic opportunities because people like Douglas Elmendorf, the Kennedy School Dean, would rather succumb to perceived donor pressure than do the right thing and uphold academic freedom. If Harvard can't live by that principle, if it can't clearly articulate that principle, who can? And how safe is academic freedom anyplace?